Uh, can you tell us a bit about yourself? Hi, my name is uh, Jaden Blankenship. My name is Kyle. Hey, my name is Maya Silvera. Oh, my name is Alicia David Giste. Uh, my name is Jeremy Scarra. And I'm in the chess program. I'm a part of the chess program. And can you tell us a bit about the research you've been working on this past summer? I've been working over here in the Minshaw lab and we're looking at triple negative breast cancer cells and specifically how there's a unique channel that they have, a unique potassium channel, and we've been investigating how upregulating the desmosomal protein concentration can help promote contact inhibition. So the research I was working on was with Dr. Bala. I did a literature review on the environmental overburden of cadmium on cognitive aging and arterial stiffness. I worked on developing an in vivo mouse model for low HER2 breast cancer. Um, and throughout the summer, I was in a wet lab, so I worked a lot with, like, in cell culture. Um, I learned a lot about how to use lab instruments. Um, I learned a lot about problem solving in my lab. Um, definitely took a lot of patience, but it was a very fruitful project, and I can, I'm happy to say that it was successful. I was working with prostate cancer with Donald Vandergren, and we were looking at how certain genes affect the metastasis of prostate cancer. And how would you say you benefited from the CHESS program this year? I'd say that the CHESS program definitely opened my eyes to the uh, very in-depth lab experience that is necessary to definitely thrive in the lab. But um, this, this is kind of like dipping your toe in the pond, you know, like kind of getting a feel of what lab life is like, um, the before, the after, the cleanup, and kind of managing that, that day in and day out lab life. But it was definitely very fun, definitely very interesting, and um, getting to meet new people is definitely one of the highlights. Um, so I benefited from the trust program because I was always really interested in health disparities and luckily over my junior year I got to study more about that but then the chess program it got it allowed me to learn more about the zip code and more about health disparities but also with Dr. Bala I learned how to ask, ask questions like a researcher how to be a professional researcher rather than just learning tools that I would most likely forget and that people would teach me over time if I actually wanted to be a researcher. This program helped me explore the like biologist or chemist career a lot. Um, I've just recently started exploring you know, research as a career and I didn't know much about it because I've never had experience in a lab and being surrounded by professionals in a lab, seeing their day-to-day -day process was really interesting to me and really eye-opening to what I would be doing if I worked as a researcher. Um, I would say I got a lot of connections and I had really good networking. I was able to get a lot of good experience with research and in the lab in general. So another way I benefited from the program this year is I was able to continue doing research with my mentor and during the school year and I'm going to be continuing research with him and I definitely encourage everyone to stay in touch with your mentor, stay in touch with the program coordinators here, they definitely will help you out with anything you need. One thing I learned this past summer is the very in-depth kind of deep dive we take here in the chess program. We took a really deep dive into the biology and the chemistry aspect of, um, of the research and I definitely now know a lot more of the uh, biology terms especially when it comes to cancer and um, I definitely I don't want to say I feel like an expert <laughs> but I definitely feel like I know a lot more coming or coming out than I did coming in. When you ask questions it's just supposed to show how smart you are. Mm, definitely to have patience um, just in general but um, because I want to do this in the future, I think, you know, knowing that things will take time and you will fail, it's a very valuable lesson that I think can be applied to everything in life. Did you share your favorite memory from the program? Like the days we got to like work in groups with each other and got to know like the other people. And then I also really enjoyed the presentation day because I just felt really confident and prepared. So. One of my favorite memories was when the fantastic program coordinators, uh, Nate and Ellie, they gave us uh, like an acknowledgement for a paper plate award, and I was voted most likely to uh, go pro in a sport that does not yet exist. Um, and it kind of just took the edge off of the day in, day out kind of lab life and 
made it easy, reduced our stress level. Uh, my favorite memory from the program would be hanging out with my friends at SRH, with Nate and Ellie, and just like having fun talks. It was really, it made me feel like chess was a tight community. I really enjoyed the field day from the um, program a few weeks ago. Um, I know a lot of my friends and I, we were just playing like bag toss. Um, we were all talking during lunch. It was a nice way to get to know my peers. Uh, what type of person would you encourage to apply to the program? Uh, I would encourage anybody to apply to the program if you're interested in medicine. It doesn't have to be cancer biology. You could be just interested in medicine. And I'd still encourage you to apply to the program because there are uh, various people that come in and talk and speak that aren't really just talking about cancer. They're talking about you know disparities when it comes to medicine, when it comes to cancer, when it comes to um, just basic science. There was someone that came in to just talked about the central dogma and didn't really have much to do with cancer, but it was still like relevant to what we were talking about. And what I really like about the program is that they have a lot of people come in and speak every like once a week. And it's just day in, day out, they have like a deep dive into all this knowledge that they have in their heads and they're spilling it out to us. And you know, we're able to absorb it and come out leaving with, with definitely more information than we came in with. I think someone who is determined, someone who has a strong interest in not just cancer research, but medical research in general, um, and someone who is willing to take risks and fail because failure is a big part of success. Even if you're not interested in cancer or like you don't even know if you want to do research or what you want to do, I recommend applying to this program no matter what because it helps you network, it helps you learn how to write a research paper and oral presentation and be more confident in your speaking. And it also can help you ask questions and learn stuff you didn't know before. Do you have any advice for future students coming into the program? I would say take as many advantages as you get and all the opportunities because being that close with PhDs and other doctors is a one in, once in a lifetime experience. So some advice I'd say I have for future students coming into the program is to read the protocol and don't try and memorize it because I know when I came in, I would just read the procedure and I'd be like, okay, I got it. I'll read it like a couple times and I'll be like, okay, I got it. I'll just try it without reading. And then I would do it and I would completely mess up. So don't do that. Just trust me, read the protocol, have it with you all the time. Double check it, triple check it as you're going along step by step so that you don't mess up. And that's one way to succeed in the lab and always write things down too. Make sure you ask questions. I would say be open-minded. Um, even if you don't get the project that you expected to work on, you never know what you may learn from this project. So go into it with an open mind. Um, always be willing to both learn and share what you've learned. And if you could describe the program in one word, what would it be? Informative. I would say enlightening. I would say eye-opening.